Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our uh, our first uh, fucking sequel series. Uh, I did Double Dash 100%, and uh, that was a nightmare. So I figured let's do it again, because that'll be fun. <laughs> Luckily, we don't have to uh, have to deal with the uh, the nightmare that is the All Cup Tour. Um, oh my god, we gotta draw Chie for this, right? Um... Oh, uh, how do you, oh, how do you, Yeah, that's probably close enough. Uh, let's see. Okay. And then we got to do her face, right? Perfect. Perfect. Uh, and then we got to get the brown hair in there, right? Oh. Then we do her eyes. And there we go for the outline. Yo, Stealthy, what's up? Just chilling. Hell yeah, man. You just caught the, uh, the start of the stream, so welcome making uh making our emblem right now so uh people know who we are when we go to race even though it's all cpus Okay, and then how's uh how's it sounding by the way? We all we sounding all right? We sounding good? Oh, and then I forgot. We have to of course she's going to have a speech bubble. Thank you. 
and it's going to say How do I make this work? Oh, you know what? I think I know. I think I can make this work. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of it. Yeah, stay. <laughs> uh, not much room for a bubble. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're making it work, though. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Name a more perfect speech bubble. I'll wait. Steak. <laughs> Steak. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at it and uh No. <laughs> Steak. Yeah, steak. How do you, oh wait, yeah, yeah, hang on. Rotate cart. Yeah, look at it, it's on the left side there. Steak. Oh, the turtleneck, that's right. We have to add that in, how could I be so dumb? There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Steak. <laughs> you know what? Let's clean up that text box a little bit. I'm not like a hundo on it, honestly. Isn't this the great, uh, the greatest start to a Mario Kart series you've ever seen? And now that's going to show up on all my cars. All right, who's ready to get this shit started, huh? Can you hear the game, by the way? Is that, like, is that clean? Steak? I can hear it fine. Cool. Because this game, for some reason, is like blasting audio. So I was a bit worried. Oh, it's supposed to be... What do you mean it's supposed to be GA? That's totally GA. Yahoo! Yahoo! 
You know what? I'm gonna mix it up. Last time I like tried to min max, you know, the best kind of like the best character or whatever. But I think this time I'm actually gonna like switch it up to with who I play and whatnot. All right, let's get this shit started, huh? So as a heads up, this is not only gonna be every single Grand Prix. Uh, this is also gonna be the whole mission mode they have in the game. And I'm going to get three stars on every mission. So that's going to be just a nightmare to deal with. Oh my god, what does that mean? Oh my god, I forgot you can snake in this game. Oh my god, it's all coming back to me, baby. Oh, this will be the first time you've seen it in full. Interesting. God, I used to play this game all the time as a kid. What was cool is that uh, there was a uh, there was a kid on my bus who also had a DS, but he never got a copy of Mario Kart. So with the download play function, we were able to play together, and he he would be shy guy, and I would get you know the actual character selection, right? So. Ah, there we go. You know what? I don't I probably don't need to try this hard for 50 CC, but I feel like it because it's funny. Somehow completely passed me by. Didn't hear mu about it till much later. Interesting. That's crazy because I, I want to say this is like the second or third best-selling one in the series. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go, baby. Let's go. How's the how's the how's the layout look? Are, are are we all are we cool with this layout? Like the one that's on stream right now? I put like minutes into it. Hell yeah. I wish I had gotten it when it came out. It feels like there's no point in trying to get a copy now. Oh, there totally is, though. Because this game's tight as fuck. Because this game has, like, a whole single-player mode and everything. What? You're kidding me that not a single person ran into that shit. Oh, 
Let's go. Let's go, let's go. All right. Cheap, cheap beach, baby. I mean, I think so. I I think the game is worth, uh, you know, whatever they sell it for on, like, uh, the Wii U or whatever. It's, like, 15 bucks or something. Like, more than worth that. It's probably less than that, honestly. I guarantee it's like 10 or 15 bucks. It's not much, but. Man. Man, is this fucking Mario Kart Wii? How many fucking blue shells have, have fucking shown up? Oh, uh, yeah, Wii U Virtual Console has basically, like, any first-party Nintendo DS game uh, that wasn't uh, re-released elsewhere at some point. So, like, Bowser's Inside Story isn't on there, right? But, you know, stuff like this, Partners in Time, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff is on there. I think Mario Hoops 3 on 3 is even on there, and that game is sick as fuck. I can't imagine the Wii U is the most ideal way to play that. Luigi, I saw that blue shell, Luigi, and I'm about to get wrecked by it. Yep, here it comes. There, now I can give him a chance. Oh yeah, they had a ton of DS games on there. And they had like a decent selection too. But it's all, I think it's almost entirely uh, first party Nintendo, which is like still good on DS, right? But like, I don't think they had, uh, like, you're not gonna find Final Fantasy IV DS on there or something like that, or like World Ends With You isn't on there, you know, stuff like that. Oof. Yeah, that's understandable. I heard that game is not great. Like, I, I hear it's fine, but, like, at its worst, it's just kind of whatever. And at its best, it's boring, <laughs> so... I don't know if they kept the reference in later versions of this track, but if you look at the portraits on the walls, those are actually ghosts from Luigi's Mansion, like Bulasis and Chauncey. 
which is nice. It's like a cool little thing. There's the Bowser one. Uh, spoilers for that game, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> Although it's not, you know. Oh, whatever. I've I've said too much. Go play Luigi's Mansion. That's a really good game. <laughs> Not a single person's hitting these bananas. I feel I feel kind of bad because I uh, originally wanted uh, Cassidy to join me for this stream. Oh, gonna make food. Have a good stream. All right, have a good one, dude. May the food be delicious. You know what sounds good? I could go for some like mac and cheese or something right now, like some sort of pasta. It sounds really good right now. Maybe I'll make that. Maybe I'll actually cook for once. I saw... If you looked at the bottom screen there, I saw a DK with a fucking blue shell. He was ready. He was re ready to get my fucking goat. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, what's going on on the bottom screen there? Why was it just zoomed... Why is it just zoomed in on the track? It's just like, what? Why was it like horribly zoomed in? Fuck you, Rob. No, I want mac and cheese. What? I only got two stars? Oh, no. All right. So I totally forgot they had star ratings for individual Grand Prix too. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Wow, what a... Stat-wise, like, the Poltergeist is not... not a good time? Like, look at... look at this... Like, the amount you lose in items? Like... Is not great. Uh, item stat Mario Kart DS. What does that stat even do? Item was a stat in Mario Kart DS. It would determine the chance of getting a good item. For example, triple bananas in first or a bullet bill in last. Mainly, there were three different levels of item stats, low, medium, and high. Each character has one cart with a high item stat, one with a medium, and one with a low. The standard cart for the character always has a medium stat. One of the special carts would have a, a low item stat, and the other special would have a high one. Note that carts with high item that have lower stats on everything else, uh, ten, or ten, the one with the high item stats tend to have lower stats overall. Gotcha. Okay. Well, now I know. Okay. Wouldn't it be better to go straight to... Um, even if it is a thing, I don't want to do that because I don't... Ha I don't have fun doing that. Because it's like, I, I want to beat it at my own pace, you know? And plus I get to stream it for longer, you know? It 
if if I just went straight to 150, this whole series would be done in like two streams. So I at least want to elongate it a little bit, you know? Go Luigi. Let's go, dude. I don't know if you were... Uh, Jess, did you see any of the Mario Kart Double Dash stream? I don't think so. I That might have been... That might have been before we were, like, talking a lot. Oh! Uh, Cassidy was going to join me. Um, Cassidy was going to join me, but... Uh, she uh turned out to be busy and it was kind of last minute so didn't really work out unfortunately yeah i think i think double dash is before me and you started talking a lot um so the double dash stream a majority of that stream was probably spent in the high ranking races just repeating the same shit over and over again. Yet the whole series was only three videos long. Yeah, hopefully next time. Getting comboed by this fucking pokey? Get out of here, dude. Oh my god, this video game. Is the is the audio really okay? Because I can like barely hear myself talk over the uh video game right now. And, uh, boy howdy is the loud. Yeah, that's true. It, it does get a little boring to watch all this stuff. But, you know, I figure, you know, we're just chilling. We're hanging out. No big deal. Right? And plus, by the time a majority of people see this, if any, it'll be in VOD form where you can skip ahead. It's all goo. Yo, there's that Chia emblem. State. I can't believe it says fucking steak. Oh, I meant to play, not watch. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I feel that. Shout out to the only time they made like a Mario Sunshine course. Oh, come on, it curved. Are the Piantas singing? Oh, that's true. Uh, there is Peach Beach.
Yeah, they sing. That's funny. Oh, Mario hit me with a blue shell. Oh, come on. I love the Piantas, lol. Sure, they're dumb in the story, but I love the designs and voice clips. Yeah, that's fair. They're super charming. I love Piantas. And now for the premium, the most premium Mario Kart track ever made. Why isn't this come back? Uh, I I want to say it did in seven, right? In seven and tour, I think it came back. I could be wrong though. It should just come back all the time though. But you know. Of the sound effects too. Of course it came back in the two games I don't care about. Yeah. Although I I want to say in tour it was like actually like like they actually cleaned it up and made it look really nice. So I at least recommend looking up footage of it if you can. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting the uh, the triple star on this rank, but it is what it is. Uh, it just reminds me that a lot of uh, Wii tracks I love uh, we're brought back at seven. Yeah. I know the feel. 
Shout out to Coconut Mall, which is never coming back. remember this being a good track. We'll see how that plays out. Maybe my memory is better than, you know, reality. Why must you hurt me like this? I don't know. I just, I hope whenever we do get a new Mario Kart that it's something like really like fresh. Cause like, I don't know. We've, we've had eight for so long. I'm just kind of tired of eight. I don't even remember the last time I played eight. You know what though, like, for being 50cc, this feels pretty quick, which is nice. Because I remember one of my biggest complaints about, uh, was 7. It's kind of how sluggish the whole thing felt. And I'm not sure why it felt like that. They got to do something really different with how much they did uh, 8 Deluxe to make it the definitive one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, a Mario Kart with a story mode would be cool. And, and when we say story mode, can you, like, do a real story mode and not, uh, you know, whatever the fuck, uh, Tennis Aces or, uh, Super Rush are? Like, th those are stories in the loosest of senses. Jeez, you even tap a wall and it kills all your momentum. I hope that's not a problem later, because boy howdy is that going to be not fun. Hey, let's go. I love a story mode that doesn't have a fucking retry option at lodge. E Wait, story mode? What do you mean story mode? I don't think... Mario Kart's never had a story. Am I confusing it for something else?
Oh, the mission mode. Gotcha. Also, hi, Cassidy. Welcome. Cassidy, you want to hop on hop on with me? Call me on call me on Discord. I'll call you on Discord or something. I don't know. Oh, the tennis aces. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Where are you at, Cassidy? Oh, one second. I have to disable. Uh, there we go. Hello. Hello. Hi. My my. Can they hear me? I don't know. Jess, can you hear Cassidy? Hopefully, yes. It takes it a sec. Uh, sometimes for the stream to catch up to her. Okay. I have the stream open, but the volume of it muted. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, oh, here. Uh, oof. Uh, I, I think I can screen share with you if you want to watch it more live than Twitch. Oh, okay. Uh, um... Watch stream. There we go. It's Mario Kart. Okay, she can hear us. Oh, also earlier when you were like, why is it zoomed in on the bottom screen? It's because when you play on an actual DS, it's supposed to be a, one tall screen, you know? Oh, that's right. That's the road from the top screen going to the bottom screen. Yeah. What is what does the drift stat do in this game? Is that how easy it is to pull off uh, the power boosts? I think it's like Mario Kart Wii where handling is you're turning without drifting and drifting is how tight you turn with the while you're holding the drift button. Gotcha. Because I know in Wii handling doesn't matter because you're always drifting. Mm -hmm. So it might be the same. I can look it up really quick. Um, Mario Kart. Hang on, I have to... I have to take care of this fucking audio because it is blasting my fucking ears right now and I can't hear shit. All right, there. On stream, it should sound totally normal as if nothing, or at least it mostly didn't change. But now I can actually hear myself speak, which is nice. Okay, I looked it up. So handling... <laughs> Excuse me. Drilling is how tight you turn without drifting, and drift is how tight you turn with the dr wall drifting. Okay, so handling is just regular turning, basically. Yeah, handling is like if you need to like move on a straightaway, essentially. Gotcha. And then I looked up the item set. There's only ba there's basically only three item stats. They're low, medium, and high. So. Uh, yeah, it just means are you lucky or not? Yeah. Or, well, it, bas it basically means you'll get better items, usually. Yeah. yeah. I know uh, it does affect time trials, though. Your item set determines if you have one, two, or three months in a time trial. Oh, that's shitty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, also, uh, okay, so the real question is, do I go for triple stars on every Grand Prix or oh, no? No, don't, no. It's hell in DS. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never even gone for it. I've replayed the game like three or four times. Uh, can you look up if there's a reward for that? Like if it even acknowledges you did it? Um, as far as I know, there isn't. The only thing I could think of is it would show up on your profile. Maybe it'll be like Mario 3D World, which gives you, uh, like, it just makes your profile sparkle. Yeah. You missed it. I drew Chie from my emblem. I was seeing that I, um, earlier. I saw it on your card. I'm going to look this up. What was that? Oh, I was just saying, let me look up. Because I know in, like, Wii, if you get uh, on your, like, online little name when you, people see you online, it'll show if you have all three, like, three stars and everything. But I don't know if that's a thing in DS. Gotcha. 
Uh, is the requirement just getting first on every track? Uh, no, uh, not. No. It, it's it's time based because I've gotten and first place every. T how much I fall off the track? You mean? And how much you get hit by items? Oh well, that's not my fault. <laughs> that's why it's bullshit. Yeah, because okay, Jess, you can fucking vouch for this. In that first Grand Prix I did, the Mushroom Cup, I got hit by like nine blue shells. <laughs> like. <laughs> I know I, it's more lenient in 50 and 100. Yeah, like, I, I was unironically questioning if I booted up Mario Kart Wii by mistake. Like, mm -hmm. like that, that shit was horrendous. I think in 150cc, in Mirror, if you fall off even once, you can't get three stars. That's awful. Okay, you know what? Maybe I won't go for the triple star. And all I think all it does is like in, if like people like your online little name will have it work against it, but that's it. Great! I can't wait to uh, boot up the online mode and check that out. Like you know, in um, <laughs> good one. But, um, <laughs> you know how in Wii some people, some people have like a golden wheel next to their name. It's oh insane. yeah, well those people are just that's an yeah. indicator to show that you're sad. Yeah, it means you played you played the entirety entire game with eighty percent of the Wii mode or more. That's God, what a sad existence those people are. There, there are some people who prefer it in like the professional Wii scene. Those are what we call broken people, and we're not friends with them. From from what I understand, like the Wii remote, it has like diagonal inputs and a controller doesn't. The Wii so remote has diagonal inputs? Yeah, like, it can read, like, a diagonal input, like, if it was on a stick. But if you're using a stick, it doesn't have diagonal inputs registered. What? Yeah, so the Wii remote is technically more precise. I, so there's like, I, there's a couple, I hate there's a all the words that have left your mouth in the past 30 seconds. <laughs> there's, there's, like, one glitch on a Mushroom Gorge where you get to ride up the cliff to go behind the finish line, and they use Wii remote for that. That's great. I'm so glad. <laughs> Jess says in the chat, I played Wii exclusively with the Wii wheel. You're a poor well, soul. Well, sucks to be you. Because that game, like, if you're using, like, an inside drifting bike and a controller, it feels incredible. Hmm. Oh, I love this track. I love when they butchered it in me. So, like, let's let's talk about Mario Kart 8 for a bit. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to go into Mario Kart 8? Yeah, I kind of want you to I, pop off real quick because I know you're not into it. I, it, it's a mechanically. It's okay, a mechanically hang on. First of all, wait, real quick. I gotta say, fuck that. That was dumb, and that was not. That that fucking red shell looped back around. That oh, sucked. Did you get hit from the side or something? No, 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 no. It passed me, turned around, and came oh. back. Yeah, that happens in DS and Wii. Anyway. I, I don't see it offline. It usually happens only online. No. Anyway, go ahead and pop off. Okay, so 8, it's a mechanically sound game. It plays fine, but I think it has a lot of minor issues. Like, m the big one for me is I hate how much they, like, just change retro tracks to make them, like, not even the same. Like, this one, for example, they changed some of the parts like the um clock face is not an obstacle anymore it's just a place to trick so the track is infinitely easier mm -hmm. and that bugs me and then like See, i don't know I'll that's the thing that's the thing though is like i i enjoy the idea of like oh it's not just copy pasted but like at the same time a lot of the tracks they change just a little too much and, and it really does depend on which track it is, you know? It, it's funny because, like, people think, like, for DS Wii and 7, they just copy and paste it. But, no, they do change up the tracks a little. Like, they will add, like, an extra jump panel in places and stuff. They will, like, and they'll scale them better to fit the mechanics. Like, they don't just copy and paste models. Right. But but what I'm saying is, like, I appreciate the idea of what yeah. 8 did where it, like, changed it, you know, quite a bit. But I think it was a little too far. Yeah. You know. I'm trying to think of the ones that I think are fine. Oh, another one that bothers me is DS Cheap Cheap, uh, 
beach, I think is the name, where like the water doesn't affect you, right? Because you go underwater. So you can just skip the S turn. Yeah. Like the S turn is. I don't know anyone that takes the S turn. Yeah. Everyone just goes through the water, and I think that's kind of bogus. I mean, I did that for my race. I just drove in the water the whole time. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm guessing it slowed you down, right? Like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In this game, it slowed me down. Yeah, because... But that's like, just how I'm used to racing on this track, because I've been playing Mario Kart 8 for fucking 10 years. I mean, it's almost been. It's been, what, seven years? The fact it's closer to 10 years than not is very Dude. bothersome. Yeah, 8 came out in 2014. Oof. Don't remind me. I just aged 30 Dude. years. I'm just a sentient pile of dust. I said this while playing Mario Party with... Uh, it was people yesterday, but 3D World came out eight years ago. Don't or, talk. Don't talk. Yeah, it did. I'm. I don't make me regret bringing you on. <laughs> <laughs> what else came out a long time ago? Don't don't say it. Whatever it is, don't say it. New Soup U came out nine years ago. Whew. Okay. All right. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. <laughs> Okay, well, anyways, Mario Kart. Oh, well, this Mario Circuit's really good. I like this one. Uh, real quick, sorry. I have to do the uh, oh. the, vo the volume again. It's just, it's, it's just way too loud of a game. I think this is just a loud game. I mean, it is, so you're right, but like... But it's got banging tunes, so like, you know. But yeah, I, I like this Mario Circuit a lot. Yeah, this is like a really solid Mario Circuit. I like it a lot. Okay. This one hasn't been brought back, but like I feel like this one will come back at night. Yeah, I, I could I see that. Feeling. I could see that happening. I don't like all the Mario Circuits. This one and like sevens are my faves. Hmm. Oh, Jess brings up kind of a good point with the cheap, cheap beach edit. Uh, it makes sense that they had the underwater section not, like, to work with 8. Because if they didn't, it'd just be kind of out of place with all the other tracks that have underwater parts. No, they could have done what Koopa Troopa Beach did, where they submerged the whole thing underwater. Like, in Koopa Troopa Beach, the water is just, like, the beach is the same width, it's just it's underwater. Uh, yeah, I could see that. Or maybe they could have done, uh, what's that one, what's that one beach track that, it's from the original SNES game, where there's just like chunks of the water are deeper oh, than uh, others. Oh, that's Koopa Beach. Both, I think that's Koopa Beach Two, because there's a part where you go have to go over the water. There's holes in the water. Yeah, that one. Oh that one's no, in this game. J Jess says Link Between Worlds came out same day as 3D World. Oh, that's true. Fun, fun fact. That was also the same day Xbox One launched. That is a, that's a, that's a big day, Jesus. And, it, I mean, you say that, but, like... <laughs> oh, yeah. What, uh, what games launched with the Xbox One? Uh, I want to say Dead Rising 3 and Rise Son of Rome were, like, the mm. two big titles from Microsoft. <laughs> two um, games no one talks about anymore. Don't talk about it. <laughs> when did um, Sunset Overdrive come out? That game's pretty good. Uh, that was like a year or two after Xbox oh, One launched. Man. Um, but yeah, that game is like kind of tight. Uh, Sony owns the IP now, so we're just never going to see that again. That's dumb. I, oh, I mean, it's only because Insomniac had the IP rights and then Sony bought them, so. Yeah. I feel like Microsoft would, could be, I'm, I'm actually knowing, I, I was going to say Microsoft would play nice, but I know Sony won't. Well, that's the thing is. As of right now, Sunset Overdrive is still on Game Pass. Yeah, I think so, they own, like, the first game technically. Just not yeah. The yeah. So, I'm, I'm wondering... Like, Microsoft would probably be chill, but Sony would be like, nah, we have to turn this into a sad dad game. Hang on. Yeah. That's funny, because I, I, you saw I played a bit of it, and I made my character, like, a big dad. <laughs> With a bright yellow mohawk. <laughs> Yo, can we give a shout out to this track? The only like callback to Mario Three that didn't make me want to tear my fucking hair yeah. out. Back when callbacks to Mario Three were still rare and, and like cool. <laughs> like, 
This like, is oh, weird wow. cause they they kind of turned in uh they brought it back in tour right, but they oh. made it into like a weird generic course by adding a bunch of lava under it. What? There's just a bunch of lava under the course now. So it it's like an you're just airship. Added... Yeah, it's just I don't. They made it look like a Bowser's Castle course. Why? It's an airship. I don't know. Maybe it's they literally it weird. called Airship Fortress. Maybe they thought it was weird that the fortresses were floating. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this Nintendo... part, though, they turn, that, that storage section they turned into a bar, and I thought that was cute. Oh, that, that one I just went through there? Yeah, with all the boxes. That's cute. They turned it into a bar for Shy Guys. Can we <laughs> can we give a shout out to Double Dash and Mario Kart DS, loving the whole concept of getting launched out of things? Yeah. <laughs> I just Fun fucking fact. killed Toad. <laughs> Late. Oh <my> God. <laughs> fucking Toad later, is dude. Not, not in Rush Hour Three, dude. <laughs> He's not gonna be in Mario Kart Three. <laughs> nope. If Mario Party Superstars comes out, Toad's nowhere to be seen. Oh my God! Do you know how? awful I would feel if I actually just killed Toad. <laughs> Toad's worth has to tell you the grave news. <laughs> that implies Nintendo would have Toad's worth come back. Yeah, what do you mean? He was in Bowser's Inside Story Remake. He's definitely not a dead character. <laughs> okay, Cassidy. That was his last appearance, I think. That wasn't like a Smash sticker. <laughs> I know they're not stickers. Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, Nintendo acknowledging any of their creative characters, yeah. not in this era. It makes it's me wonder. Up, though. Oh yeah, that's true. Why must <laughs> Jess? Why must you hurt me like this? <laughs> Whoa! If if you look at the bottom screen when those bullets are flying by, because of how the DS's screen yeah. like fil filters pixels, those bullets are like really wiggly. Yeah, the bottom them, screen looks kind of janky sometimes. It's great. Yeah, the, them them some wiggly ass bullets. Yeah, I think this game was 2005, right? So it was very early in the DS's life. Uh, yeah, 2005. I thought I it was think. four. It might have been four. No, because that's when the DS launched, and yeah. Mario Kart was the year after. So yeah, it was 2005. <laughs> I, I always forget the DS came out in 2004. That sounds wrong to me. It sounds it like... It really does, right? Like, I'm not alone? Like... Like, that just seems early. Like, really think about... Put this in perspective. The DS launched, and then the next big Zelda game was on Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Like, what a weird thing, right? I think they like, have just waited till 2005 to release the DS. Feels like they still had stuff for GBA. Yeah, well, Nintendo was still releasing stuff, even in America, in like 2006, they were releasing GBA things. Yeah. Uh, granted, yeah, my, granted, their output was much lower, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> I just, in my brain, I always think of like the DS being like a 2006 console, not a 2004 one. Yeah. I, I, I want to say 2000... When did Sonic Rush come out? That was five, right? Um, I believe. I didn't play it until later, but... I got... Okay, um, I got my uh, DS in early 2006. So for me, that's like also... that Like I'm making that I got. I got the white DSi bundle of Bowser's Inside Story, so I must have gotten mine in 2009. Also, I looked it up. Rush came out November 2005. Okay, yeah. So I got mine two months after that. Yo, Cause that, cause it was my Rush? Yo, Sonic Rush? Hell yeah. Banging game. Yo, fucking banging soundtrack. Let's go. You right. God, I love Rush. I want to play Rush now. <laughs> I mean, you have the DS emulator open. Yeah, that's true. Oh, spoilers. I'm playing on an emulator. What? <laughs> We just saw, that's not a surprise. We saw you fiddle with the settings. No, that didn't show up on stream. Oh, okay, well, it showed up for me. Well, for you, yeah. 
Yo, look at all this chocolate pudding. It really does. I'm really glad you said that because I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. That are like just a big, like, puddle of root beer. Yo, let's talk about poo puddles real quick. <laughs> poo puddles? Oh no. <laughs> Yo, th this is another one in 8. For some reason, they made it daytime in 8, and that always bothered me. They did a lot of, like... Ski oh, my, no, I have hiccups. Now I'm gonna suffer. Oh, no. Well... I'm a fucking pro. That's all that matters. <laughs> I love getting hit by a stray green shell. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love in 200cc in 8, if you go off... Because I have the glider ramp in that game, for whatever reason. And if you're 200cc, you usually just hit the bridge and have to fall down. Yeah. It's as if that game wasn't designed with it in mind. What the fuck? You're right. Also, these walls look like flam. This whole stage is like... It looks like graham crackers and pudding. <laughs> Warriors Dessert Arena. <laughs> Just call it Wario's Fridge. <laughs> Damn, he keeps people in his fridge. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Oh yeah, this section's like anti-anti-gravity. Yeah, it's like that weird... Like, that's one of the we really weirdest changes they made, is that it's like a whole, like, anti-gravity ramp section. Yeah, and then the ramp, when you go off the ramp from the anti-grav, it goes right into a turn. So, like, it's a really janky turn. Yeah. That's not good design. <laughs> also, this bit's underwater. And yep. it's not it's not a U turn. It's just a right turn, or left. Well, it it's a right angle left turn. You know what I mean? mm. Oh, it's Fizzy in the chat. Hey, Fizzy, have no. you been winning? Have you been winning, Rob? Yes, luckily. I love the rainbow boost panels. <laughs> Jess, Jess says, "I step away for a minute, and come back, and we're talking about Wario's fridge." <laughs> yeah, we're, it looks like food. Okay, wait, if we're talking about fridges, who's ordering the uh, Xbox Series F? Mm, I don't need a fridge. You don't need a fridge? No. You don't want, like, cool, refreshing gamer drinks? I, I, I drink everything <coughs> lukewarm, thank you. I drink everything lukewarm! <laughs> I drink everything at room temperature. Also, can we talk about that jank hitbox you had on that slope where it didn't realize you needed to be slope upwards? <laughs> Thank you for noticing. I just kind of went like, mentally. I was like, what the fuck? All right. If you think about it, these people can't even see you. They're too far away. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see the race. <laughs> I want to say in eight, they had a... Uh... And they, they, they like had like monitor. Men. Yeah, they have like monitors and cameramen. Yeah, they have a bunch of like camera toads for the Mario Kart network or whatever it was called. Remember that? Where you could like post videos to Mario Kart's own social media. Unfortunately, it was that like was Mario so Kart bizarre. TV. Yeah, but it, there was no TV function. It was just, it was just. <laughs> Twitter for Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, you would just click on the menu option and it would just show four random videos. Remember eight. when that was the default option was to show you oh the replay God. so you could post it to Mario Kart I TV? Do. And then it, it was like the first thing they patched. <laughs> Jess says, as tempting as it is, I don't have a good spot for a mini fridge. I cannot begin to describe how upset I'll be if your first Xbox is a fucking mini fridge. Yeah. Also, shout out to this, this track. This one's one of my faves. It's a good track. Both in DS and in Wii. I like it in both. Hmm. They added weird ramps in Wii on, at the end that aren't used. Like, they aren't useful. <laughs> I think they're great. They are useful in, like, mod, like fan game modes, but not in, like, the base game. Like, they have, like, 200cc working in Mario Kart Wii. And they added features to make it playable. Like fast falling. <laughs> the way you describe that, they added features to make it playable. Are you talking about <laughs> the game? Yeah, no, but like they added like, you get to, if, you know how in like, 
uh, DS and Wii, if you hold, like, up on this, uh, the direction while in the air, you'll fall faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the 200cc, like, fan mode, uh, when you do that, you fall, like, double the speed, so you can oh. faster. Gorge. So it makes stuff like Mushroom Gorge playable. Gorge. Exactly. I hope I hope you know that's like not just a bit. I legitimately do that to everyone now. Yeah. Like in both in real life and in like other text conversations with people who don't know what I'm talking about. Grunt Tilda. <laughs> but no one's ever questioned me. No one mm -hmm. is like, what are you talking about? And I'll, I'll just be like, ah, grunt. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, okay. I need to tell you this. So this part, it's supposed to be like a steering wheel, right? It's in the shape of a steering wheel. Is it? That that circular bit. It's supposed to be a steering wheel. Oh. I thought I thought it was just like a like a pizza or a peace sign or something. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say, as a kid I thought it was a peace sign. But no, peace sign has three lines at the bottom, not two. Huh. You learn something so I it, new. It, I think it is just supposed to be a steering wheel. Uh, wait, is this online? No, it is not. And uh, not welcome anymore. to. Yeah, well, yeah, not anymore. Uh, no, I'm just uh, playing through like Grand Prix and stuff like that. There is also, a new oh. oh, hi, Mario Luigi. Oh, two new people back to back. Hi, welcome. Hello. Wait, Watch are me. people named the Mario and Luigi in the chat? No, no, there's someone named Mario Luigi, but then oh. there was. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant there were two separate people. One of them was named Mario. One of them was named Luigi. <laughs> oh yeah. He, uh, so uh, uh, Ms. I, uh, yeah. So I I know you could do like custom servers and stuff like that, but it, this is just me like playing offline 100. percent That's all. Just chilling, hanging out, playing that. You should play with Donkey Kong sometime. Look his terrifying model. Oh my god, DK. Name one DK model that doesn't look like shit. I'll wait. <laughs> like, he, uh, oh, he, uh, he looks pretty cute in 64. Fizzy asks in the chat, uh, I'm not good at recognizing voices. Who's the guest commentator? Uh, this is Cassidy. Uh, she's uh, she's uh, one of the moderators on my uh, Discord server and my best friend. So Hi, I'm his best friend. <laughs> 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 also, this this track is a funky layout, but I like it. <laughs> you should put that on your business card. <laughs> I, I'm just out of context, I'm Rob's best friend. <laughs> I thought you meant the thing I said about the track, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, but this track, like, the layout is very bizarre. It is. It, fe it feels like it wasn't made for a racing game. Also, don't fall off this. Oh, I forgot it stops and then goes the other way. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I was wondering earlier, uh, is this one of the Mario Kart games where uh, if you beat the higher rank maps, it unlocks the lower rank stuff for you? What, like if you beat like this, like you unlock everything 50cc, you can be 150cc? Correct. No, that wasn't added to late. Oh, that was an eight only thing? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. That's like one of its like that's one of the things and I can both say is a definite improvement. I mean, I agree, but like at the same time I kind of enjoy just playing True. through the whole thing. Yeah, I, I would like whenever like when like eight or eight deluxe came out, I still did all like fifty CC hundred CC just to get used to the controls. Yeah, like, same. Physics. It's a good practice. Yeah. Also helps you learn the tracks before you play online. Very true. Because track knowledge is probably the most important thing in a kart racer. At, at the same time, there, there, it probably comes down to just like execution and learning yeah, shortcuts. But like, yeah, but like you need to know where the shortcuts are first. Yeah, that's true. But also, it like, certainly helps when you get, you know, fucking, uh, like, yeah. item luck. <laughs> yeah, it depends on uh, the Mario Kart, because some track, some games have more in-depth tracks than others. True, true. 
Again, a lot of 8th tracks are very linear. And those shortcuts are just go across the grass with a mushroom. You did it. <laughs> Good job. I'm proud <laughs> of you. Miyamoto descends and gives you a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> I don't know if I want that. <laughs> and then as he floats back up to heaven, he just says, Pikmin 4 is canceled. Oh, shit. That's a bummer. I'm not even, like, a fan of it. Like, I'm just... I'm not, like, a hardcore fan, but that's a bummer. <laughs> You're just sitting there wait, wondering why Miyamoto told you, of all people. Yeah, You're like, like, I'm not I'm, even a Pikmin fan. <laughs> like, like, I've played a bit of three, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> he disappears and you're just like, that sucks. That's a bummer. I'm not going to tell anyone, though. I don't <laughs> want to ruin everyone's hopes and dreams. <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> Lucas somewhere. They're they're just sitting in the room and they're like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> they just get like a twinge in their, in their brain that's like, it's gone. <laughs> Imagine if they announced a new direct in like for September and all it is is 30 minutes and it's just a, a static screen that says Pikmin 4 is cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I hope it's it has that and it's like Miyamoto dancing with a middle finger. <laughs> And so, but in the, in the randomly in like three fourths in there'll be like two minutes of warrior footage <laughs> but they, they they just hard cut to it and they don't even explain yeah. what it is yeah there's no narrator or anything oh. it's just warrior footage I screwed up oh but I got the boost let's go shout out to this track cause like people who make like uh, tracks for Mario Kart games can never get this one working in any other Mario Except eight, obviously. Like, I don't think there's a working version of this track for Wii yet. I mean, that makes Just sense, but that's a real bummer because I love this track. Yeah, this one's a lot of fun. This one has some crazy shit in speed running. In time trials, like you can do some crazy skips. Oh well, goodbye, Peach. Oh yeah, it sucks if you get hit by an item when you're on like you're upside down in the loop because you'll just be, you'll just fall out of the loop and then it'll be coming out of bounds. Mm -hmm. That always sucked when you're playing online too because you add lag mm -hmm. into it and that makes it that much worse. I I don't know I never got to play this one online, which is a bummer. I was I was low key pretty good online because uh, my my secret combo that I'll pull off later um, was like. I at least remember it being really good, so I, when, you know, I, guess, I would always get this track. Related. No. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I don't Jake's know what the in. fuck happened there, but I did it. I will say for like an early DS game, this game looks very impressive for like the time. Oh yeah, for sure. And it they runs like, like pretty well. The models are almost GameCube quality. Mm, I wouldn't go that far, buddy. I I don't know. I feel like Double Dash is kind of ugly. Mm. Hang on. Let me just let me just put right there. I mean, Double Dash. Like the character the character models themselves are pretty low poly. No They're very shiny in Double Dash as well. Oh, there we go. Looks like okay. they all took a bath in oil. <laughs> they really do. And then they're covered, and then in Wii, it looks like they took a bath in dirt. And then in eight, they're just all made of clay. Shit. And Donkey Kong still has his weird teeth. God, I don't understand the teeth thing. What? Why does he have teeth? I don't know. I think um, I remember reading that like when it rare, it, when Rare had Donkey Kong, they didn't do like I I'm trying to think. I can't remember if Rare only had teeth or they, it was just dumb DK. Like dummy DK. Oh well. Oh. Ooh. The camera I, I was just remember. like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I know rare. They either had just T for just gums, and then Nintendo brought like one of them back in, and then it just became inconsistent. Yeah. I think what it was was rare wanted to make DK like, cause before Country DK was like a bad guy. He was very menacing, and he had like big. 
nasty teeth. So they gave him gums to make him more friendly. Yeah, that makes sense. And then when Nintendo got him, like, started using DK again, they started slowly introducing teeth back in when they wanted to make DK look intimidating. But he doesn't look intimidating, he just looks yeah, stupid. Exactly. He just <laughs> smiles sometimes with them big teeth. He's got some chompers, that's it. I think it's just a thing where, like, DK with teeth only looks flattering from certain angle angles, but mm -hmm. you can't have that in a Mario game. Oh, Jess says, damn, didn't know this would be the day I unfollowed. What? Why, why are you unfollowing? What the fuck? What, what, we, what did we do? Because I went into DK design lore? No, I don't think it was because of that. She said it a, a little bit before we started that. <laughs> they, oh. they started slowly putting individual teeth back in his mouth. <laughs> I forgot you have to unlock these in Waluigi. And you unlock them very late, I think. Or might be in 100 CC, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, wait, can we talk about how long his fucking arms are? Oh, yeah. They always have to make his arms long to reach the wheel. Okay, but like, that's really long. <laughs> What's that picture of, like, Toad with, like, gross, hairy man legs? Like, mm, that's what this is, but me. with... But now I need him to have, like, buff human arms. Any Anytime I think about that image, I, I think about, um, like, the whole Odyssey, is it a hat thing? Because that's really <laughs> wrong. Oh, apparently she was unfollowing me because I said Double Dash kind of ugly. The environments are very nice, but yeah, the character models are a little low quality, but they have to be for a racing game. Yeah. Eclectic Salt, hello, welcome. Nice to see you. Welcome. Yo, the very first Mario Kart train. Relax Yo. for some reason. What's that? I was, I was going to say, whenever they bring back these SNES tracks, I'm gonna be real. I really hate the SNES tracks naming scheme because mm. they're just they're just blank one, blank two, and blank three. Like, uh, yeah. But I I always appreciate that they purposely keep the like they never really add much to these. Like they keep them yeah. pretty safe in terms of like what they are. Yeah, like even in um eight, like the one SNES and one GTA tracks in the vanilla game are pretty untouched. But then they did the DLC and made you wait, playing bad. Wait, did I unlock Dry Bones? Is he here? Like uh, he's I think he's I think he's in the vanilla roster, like the base roster. Is he? I know I you have to unlock Daisy and Wobble Week. But actually I think you do have to unlock him, I think. Yeah, but I I, think I just unlocked Toad. I didn't realize I unlocked Dry Bones. Oh, is Toad unlockable in this game, like in Double Dash? It's weird. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. Ooh, DS is the Mario Kart game I never owned, but re have really fond memories of playing. Hell yeah, let's go. We were talking about that earlier. Uh, DS Mario Kart DS was like the game I put the most time into because uh, that was when I uh, rode the bus to school and uh, me and a kid on the bus constantly played download play with Mario Kart. So. You're gonna hate me for what I was gonna say. Oh no, what, why? I was gonna say, I remember playing this in daycare. Oh, shut up. I hate I didn't that have you a, said I, that. I, I, I didn't have a DS, but like, the other kids would let me play with theirs. No, what it was, me and my sister had to share a pink DS. It was hers. I didn't have a DS at the time, just my sister did. Why'd your sister get one, but not you? I don't know. Picking favorites, what the fuck? She had a DS Lite. My first DS was the white DSi. Because they had a bundle with it. and Oh, Eclectic Salt played the same way I did. Lots of download play and whatnot. Hell yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't Cass own the game myself until I bought it in like fourth or fifth grade. Uh, Jess says, Cass, how fucking young are you? She's only... I'm 20. Yeah, you're 20 now, but, like, I was gonna say, like, Jess, you're only a year older than her, I think. Yeah. Or, or like, not even? I think you're around the same, like, like, literally months yeah. apart. If this game came out in 2005, I would have been four when it came out. 
So. Yeah. Yeah, that checks out. As much as I hate it. <laughs> but then I didn't own the game myself until I bought it in like 2009 or 2010. With my own money. Oh, and I, I, I mentioned... Uh, I mentioned this to Jess earlier, but uh, this is on the Wii U Virtual Console. Yeah, and it's, uh, there's it's no multiplayer, though. Yeah, there's obviously no multiplayer, but it's. I think it's still worth playing, because there's a ton of single-player content. Yeah, and the tracks are really fun. And all the retro ones. Like, this was the first one to do the whole retro track thing, so... Uh, yeah. You could technically well, Super technically, I know, did, like... I know technically Super Circuit did, but, like... The good version of Retro Tracks Super was Circuit's in this game. Weird. Super Circuit is literally Mario just Kart. Super Mar Super Circuit is literally just Super Mario Kart, but like We're with new tracks. Games. Yeah, with new tracks. That's it. I'm I'm still mad about what they did with Cheese Land in eight. Like once oh, they yeah, found out that yeah. it, it wasn't on the moon anymore. They they made it like a desert. Yeah, it's just a desert made out of cheese. And, like, that's fine, but, like, that's not as fun. <laughs> Jess says it also the better game with retro tracks. Yes, that's very true. I, he I hear Super Circuit is just kind of stinky, but I don't know. I never played it. Well... Cassidy's... Hang on. Why is Cassidy silent? Hello? Oh, Cassidy's quiet and I'm not sure why. Well, yeah. You hate to see it. Oh! She... She left? Hello? Cassidy? Hello? Here, let me... What the fuck? What's going on? What's going on? Discord. Why are you being stinky? Stop being stinky, Discord. Hello? Hello. There we go. Yeah. There we go. The reason after my mom, mom called, it just wouldn't recognize my microphone. Discord. Oh, yeah, that's a problem on the mobile app. If you get called while you're in the middle of a Discord call, it just completely craps out. So you yeah, need to like restart the app. I had to, to four stop the app. Yeah, which is you know we're good now. Yeah, it's just she was just asking if I want anything from like a, a, from McDonald's, but I had just had cold pizza, so I just asked for a soda. Hell yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Super Circuit sucks. Uh, no, I but... mean, it's fine. I like the tracks a lot. I, I've never played it. I have no opinion on Super Circuit. It's so. got banging music. And it has the same roster as 64. It, has, it uses the exact same sprites, actually, from 64. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, they still, like, credit Rare. Because they made the Donkey Kong model. For That's reason. fun. Probably because, like, well, they weren't originally going to have DK in that game, right? So. And, uh, 64? Yeah, it was going to be Kamek, I think. Mm hmm. And then I'm like, well, we'll use DK, I guess. People like him. I think DK's the better choice of those two, so, like, I. Yeah, get it. It, it, it's just weird that Kamek hasn't been brought back at all. Maybe Tor will. Mm, I wish Tor was dead. Oof. I, I wish Tor was the one that was cancelled, not Dr. Mario. But, like, 
Tour makes money for now, so... Yeah, it does, and that makes me upset. <laughs> I know I'm part of the problem, but I'm trying to not give them money. But every time I, I think I'm done with Tour, they bring back... They make a new Daisy skin. <laughs> they know how to get you. <laughs> they do. Or they'll bring back Sunshine Mario, and I'll be like, oh, fuck. Well, now I have to use fucking money to get rubies. Well, I, I don't buy rubies. I just like the gold pass. Oh, well, arguably just as bad, but like I get it. I can't blame you. But also they made the gold pass worse. You get like, like less stuff from it now. So What? Because they introduced a separate subscription thing where you, every, every single tour you can pay $5 to get more challenges. That's... It, it's That's really scummy. awful. Yeah. Jeez. The monetization in Nintendo's mobile games are really bad. Like, either they suck ass or they're just, like, really scummy. Like, yeah. Like, I think uh, Fire Emblem also got a subscription service at one point. It, it has one, yeah. I, I, oh, and Animal Crossing has, like, fortune cookies you can buy that will give you random furniture. Yep. Oh, gotcha furniture now. Well, and it has two different kinds of subscriptions. Yeah, it has like I forget what they are though because I don't play Pocket Camp. There's basically one that's like kind of like uh, furniture focused, and then there's one that's like oh, yeah. accessory focused. Yeah, but they put all the cool stuff in that game because it's the one that makes money. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna go into New Horizons because that's a whole other topic. <laughs> I As find it funny Dustin though. Fan, I have a lot to say. <laughs> See, that's the thing is like, new, you know, I I played probably like 150 hours of New Horizons, and like, it's like a really cute game. Like, it's fun and stuff, but like, and, and they did gamify it more than past games. Yeah. But like, the problem is there's just like so little to do. Yeah, they took out a lot of what made Animal Crossing like charming in the first place they just turned yeah. it into like a survival game without surviving yeah exactly i yeah, really eclectic... hope the next one oh go ahead what were you gonna say e eclectic salt says like they went full-on gotcha with the mobile games and stuff and like yeah they they really did uh yeah. but luckily they said they're stopping mobile stuff mostly or at least yeah, slowing they down said they're not making any new games for mobile that's good. If you didn't know, mobile for Nintendo is actually like only like all their mobile games combined are like 3% of all of their profits. So like that's next to nothing. So maybe they should just put the cool shit in the games that actually people buy. <laughs> Yo? 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 I got fucking three stars. Let's go. Cool. Oh yeah. Let's go. I want these trophies like for real. Yeah, I, I, I want like to actually purchase these. I know oh, they read they Yeah, I guess I I guess I did get Trey Bones. Yeah, I guess you did. Trey Bones is cool. D Drone. That DK sprite is like I'm, okay, the model sucks. Like let's let's agree on that. State so chunky. Uh, but <laughs> but also look at that sprite on the right. That's that's not a great sprite. I like his eyes are all fine. render and just like put it in. Uh, I think this one, this Mario render, I'm pretty sure is like, it looks like the Mario Toadstool Tour render with the golf club where he's like holding it upwards. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But like they edited it. No, I don't think he's looking at the camera in that render. He's like looking at the golf ball, I thought. No, there's, there's, okay. So there's one where he's like swinging towards a ball, right? But then there's yeah. one where he's pulling a club out of a bag. Oh, I don't know that one. I'm thinking of the cover art. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I like the Rambi Rider, though. Uh, What's this other oh, you don't know yet. What? What? What now? I was going to say, we don't. What, what, what's his second car, but we don't know. Well, technically, we don't know. It's well, the Jeep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is the Jeep. Or, like, I think that's cute. Oh my god, DK, you're clipping in your engine, bud. You okay? <laughs> I love that they put in they, they took the time to color in his gums and they're like blood red. 
Yeah, I and I, I love that they spent time to give him gums, but his legs are like three polygons. <laughs> <laughs> They're very sharp. Ouch. Uh oh, Jess mentions, I sure love tools breaking, having to craft one thing at a time, villagers having three bits of dialogue going through a million dialogue trees to play online. Literally nothing to do except explore oh. and show off your island. You know what's weird about the villager dialogue? It, they they have like a lot of dialogue, but they made it so you have to talk to them a lot before they give you actual good dialogue. Yeah, you have to like be, be friends with them before they have interesting dialogue, which is awful. Yeah, I think that was a new leaf as well, but it's way less. <laughs> Eclectic salt. Why are his gums the same color as his tie? Yeah. That's a brush. very good question. Monkeys don't brush. <laughs> Monkeys don't. I need that on a t-shirt. Monkeys <laughs> don't brush. And it's just a it's just a shitty JPEG of this model. <laughs> Every time I think about Donkey Kong, I, I, I'm thinking about his model in Mar Mario and Rabbids where he has very small legs for some reason. <laughs> it's so he could fit into like the squares. <laughs> well, I know, but it looks wrong. It looks very cursed in cutscenes. <sighs> I'm so bummed because like I'm so excited for the sequel, but it's Ubisoft. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for it to be new. Or used, Ooh. excuse me. Yeah. I want to do that, but like I'm a digital gamer. Oh, no. If I probably... if I really wanted to be an asshole about it, and uh, what I could do is uh, get not only get it used, but uh, install it to my modded Switch directly, mm -hmm. and then return it. You could do that, honestly. The fucking pro gamer strats right there. That's very illegal, and I think the FBI know where you are now. But <laughs> <laughs> FBI have just turned tuned into the stream. I, I, I hope the FBI looks like this DK model. <laughs> they have a gorilla. Yeah, Je Jess knows what's up. Not giving him money directly. Exactly. I I just love that Chie Steak is like always looking at the camera in this car. Yo, Persona Kart though? When are we getting that? Okay, so you joke, but years and years ago, after Vanilla Persona 5 came out, Atlas trademarked a, or, and bought the domains for a ton of websites. And uh, a lot of them were like really just random off the wall shit. Uh, one of them was like, you know, p5a.com or, you know, Persona5arena.com, Persona5dancing, per p5d.com. One of them was... Persona 5 Afternoon Dancing mm. or no it was Afternoon Racing that was that oh. was the name and everyone was like oh so we're getting Persona 5 cart and I'm like yes please like I'd buy it <laughs> I want to I want to race in Shibuya I want to run people over as Haru <laughs> Yo, you could just drive on Johanna. That'd be sick. Yeah, he, Johanna! Yeah, Jess just got to uh, that palace. so The coolest fucking Persona Awakening in the game. Don't at me. Yo, she's pretty cool, though. Yo, DK, what's up with your uh, your boost, man? It's kind of sucky. Oh, is this drift mini turbo bad? Oh, that's awful. What the fuck? Yeah. Is there a mini turbo stat in this game? Maybe. It might be hidden. I'm not sure. I know, like, they, sh they show it in Wii, the mini turbo stat. Mm hmm. But would y'all just race in the frickin' van? Yes. You need the Morgana oh God, van. Yes. You could race in, um, Captain Kid's pirate ship. Like, oh, you know what? It would. Morgana would be like uh like Knights in Sonic and All Stars Racing where Oh my god, you're right. Knights is the vehicle in that game and the Nightopian is the one driving. Well Morgana would just be the bus. <laughs> <laughs> what about Joker drive? Oh, Joker 
would would have like a car that's like slightly reminiscent of like a sports car. Yeah, it's kind of like how so it'd be kind of like how Sonic's car is just like a, a like a, a like a sports car, but it has the little spikes on the back. Yeah, Joker's would be something like that. Wait a minute, does my Chie look like fucking the character from I Wanna Be the Guy? Kinda, just with a green hoodie. I was thinking of Kara from Undertale or Charo. Uh, which no, one is? No. Oh, that's that's like the evil version of you you run into in the genocide over out. Oh, okay. They're just called Kara because in the actual game their name is whatever you inputted. Gotcha. Don't mind me, Undertale expert, coming through. <laughs> never, I've never even played a single fan game. Don't, I'm not an expert. <laughs> I just I've really never like played Undertale. a single and, and fan game. <laughs> yeah, I've never played any of like the fan games or anything. I've only played Undertale and Delta Room. But how would that determine if you're an expert? I'm like, I'm I a Sonic. Know. I I would call myself a Sonic expert, but I've not played all Sonic That's fan true. games. I have looked into the war of undertale so i guess i am an expert see i i just like to describe myself as the the middle ground between a wiki editor and a human <laughs> that's good oh my god have i ever told you the story about when i edited edited the king B B bomb wiki no <laughs> no okay so <laughs> i edited it to say like king B bomb was gay and it was <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> And my, my evidence was that he was obsessed with mustaches. Why is that evidence? I don't know. I wrote this, I did this in like 2018 and I thought it was funny, but they, they took, they changed it after like an hour, right? But the, the Twitter account for the wiki tweeted about it like two years later. What? Yeah, they tweeted like, they were like that one time someone put this on the wiki and I was like, oh, that was me. I did that. Did you get fame for it? Did you get retweets? No. I, I think I got a lot of likes. And, like, someone pointed out... Someone replied saying that's, like, one of the funniest things that's happened on the wiki. But that's about it. That's hilarious. They should have kept it. It would have been better. <laughs> it was up they... for, like, two hours. I, I was impressed with it. I was impressed they took it down so fast. <laughs> breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> I tampered with a wiki. I'm going to jail. Yo, that piano though, going off. Yeah, right. This whole this whole track is just fucking popping off right now. R can we talk about this track though, and how like much I I I love like all the little boosts you get throughout the whole thing. Yeah. This, all the Bowser's castles in the Super Circuit are pretty fun. It's great. There's four of them, and they're all pretty good. The, the last one, though, was a fucking marathon. It's very long, and it's three laps. Is is this the one they brought back in tour? What's the one in tour that um, has, like, a giant ramp that goes up? What? Oh, okay. Uh, this one, uh, for the trick version, has, like, a bunch of giant ramps. Gotcha. Shoutouts to in seven they brought back the first Bowser Castle from Super Circuit and it's very short because it's only three laps. It's like Whoa. less than a minute. Did you see that? Yeah, that was like a I, banana, but you still yeah. got the boost. Yeah, I got the boost and the banana at the same time. And the game's just like, I don't know, fuck it, you're normal now. Yeah, this game's a little jank sometimes. I mean, it's but working like out it. in my favor, so I'm okay with it. True. Oh yeah, the four Bowser Castle and Super Circuit, the background is just a bunch of giant bombs that are like plugged into the walls. What? Yeah. Why? There's like a bunch of Mecha Koopas on the track that will fuck with you. Oh, that's kind of cool though. Yeah. It's kind of like how there's those giant Mecha Koopas on um, Ribbon Road and Eve. Hmm. I do like what they do with Ribbon Road and Eve. I will say like, I feel like that one is fine. Because it oh. keeps the spirit. If you drive into the side of those, you get a bigger boost because you're lower to the ground. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. Sure. 
Why? Why? I just love his unedited eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that sprite. Look at his sprite. Which one? Oh, the... He, oh, yeah. He has like a normal... He has like Bob the Builder's nose. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you see what I mean, right? Like, kinda, yeah. I was like looking at his... How his like hair spike is almost non-existent. <laughs> what hair spike? <laughs> <laughs> it's cut off. He just has like three little like little dinglies on top now. <laughs> Don't say dingly. <laughs> I never want to hear you say, say dingly again. <laughs> Yo, it's the track they keep no neutering. I think it's great. This track was only good in uh, Double Dash, and that's my opinion. Look, I'm not going to say you're right, but, like, I don't disagree with you. <laughs> it's just annoying in 8. Like, there's too much bulk. Like, it's not, like, fun because there's giant shells and shit. You just keep getting hit by green shells, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, that that brick said fuck you. <laughs> no video games for you, Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, what? how's her? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was just gonna say why. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember when they added this track to eight, people were like genuinely upset about the pink gold baby peach statue. Oh yeah. And I feel it like was... they definitely added that for the bit. They really did. They had to have, right? They had to. They had to have known. Oh, well. well the, <laughs> the DLC for 8 was a pretty good deal. It was like, what, 12 or 13 bucks? Yeah, it was 12 bucks for like, what? Like, 16, 16 new... Yeah, 16 new tracks and then six quote-unquote new characters, yeah, right? Yeah, the characters were a bit rough, but like, the carts and the tracks were cool. Yeah. And if you if you bought the whole thing, you also got extra colors for Yoshi and Check. It's like a bonus. Yo, I lapped Yoshi. Damn. Who was in fucking fifth? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'll we'll say it eight. It's very satisfying to go around the corners to get full like boosts. It really is. Like you're just tearing it up. And no one can hit you. <laughs> Yo, double star. Let's go. Banana. Oh, banana. <laughs> that oh, reminds me. Barnyarda. What? Apparent. Uh. Oh, what's going on? I I just said barn barnyard. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I heard someone talking in the background, but uh, I found yeah. out the other day from watching Proton John's uh, Donkey Kong series that in the Game Boy Color version of that game, they use the DK64 menu. Huh. For some reason. There's regular bread over there. Bread? So, so, sorry, Troy was asking about bread for the chili he made. Oh. Um. You were the Bruce Okay, I, 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 could, I could go for the little Chie picture on the ass, or I could go <laughs> for the good stats. Wait, how does my weight go up in the regular cart? It's a light car. The, yeah, the hot rod no. is white. Yeah, but what? All that's in there is an engine. Nothing else. <laughs> it's it's just a cardboard box and Wario runs. <laughs> <laughs> just you know what? That's that, that, that that's that's very much like on brand for Wario though. To like <laughs> to like have a stylish looking car, but it's just fucking cardboard. Oh, here's the track you were talking about with the holes. Oh, is this it? Really? Yeah. In a tour, they made the holes just off road, so you can't like fall in. It bumps me out. You can't honk in this game. Oh, is there no like honking without an, like you don't have an item? Not that I'm aware of. That's... So, try pressing the item button now. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm pressing all the buttons. Oh, okay. Nothing. Damn. I forget where and that was added. Might have. It was either seven or eight. Oh my god, this fucking Yoshi! This he just ran away. He was like, "You lapped me last mm -hmm. time. Well, you're a bitch." Mm -hmm. I love this song though. This is one of my favorite like Mario Kart songs. It's a good song. What the fuck, Yoshi? I hit you with a shell. You're a bitch. 
Get out of here. Right here. I do love that they keep the pixels in the in for all the retros for the SNES courses. Like they keep the pixel art. Yeah, like they they keep them like all simple and stuff, and they yeah. don't like try to make them hyper realistic or like yeah. Mario Kart and Unreal Engine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just Mario. Mario Galaxy models placed in <laughs> pre-made asset grass fields. <laughs> <laughs> this will be Mario in 2008. <laughs> Shouts to Mario Galaxy, though. Good ass game. Hell yeah. Just will fight I, you on that, but. Yeah, I was gonna say, and everyone's like, oh, two is better. No. No, Jess doesn't like either one. Oh, well, she's just a bad person. <laughs> Oh, called okay. out. I have a very big soft spot for Sunshine and Galaxy One. Sunshine's a good time. I, 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 you know, people dunk on it, and like I get it, but you know, it's fun. Yeah, I think it's just like a, a fun, lighthearted game if you're not like going for one hundred percent. You say lighthearted, but Mario gets arrested in the first twenty minutes. I meant like it's just like a, a fun, casual game. <laughs> I like the um I like the challenge levels a lot where you don't have blood. Those are a lot of fun. I also just like the levels, like they're fun to explore, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Like I love um what is it, Rico Harbor, that's a fun one. Then... It's such a good one that they keep bringing back the song in Smash and they don't yeah. change it. You never got a remix, baby. Hashtag no remix game. <laughs> Been in gonna... four games, not in, not gonna do shit about to be, it. To be fair, Sunshine had not gotten a remix at all in Smash until Ultimate, so it made sense they picked Ultimate Plaza. I just don't like the idea that they remix songs that are already in the game. But you just said Rico Harbor never got a remix. No, but no, what I'm saying is like, okay, so they chose to remix for specifically for ultimate like they remix magic Hand and foresight again oh yeah i i meant like with delfino plaza it never had a remix before ultimate yeah but what yeah all right i guess it's fair i don't know i just don't like the remix selection that ultimate had yeah like there were a couple cool ones got a remix but all. yeah there were a couple cool ones but oh my god the fog like disappeared with the lightning hello yeah yeah, there were a couple cool picks. I I was I was just happy that Kirby got not not even that it got a remix. It, was, it got anything from modern games because they added one of the boss things from Triple Deluxe. That made me very happy. Sakurai says he's not biased, and I don't believe it. <laughs> he, well, yeah, he's not biased. He added one song from Triple Deluxe for Ultimate. You're welcome. When all the Triple Deluxe songs from the in Smash Four were just from the beginning of the game. Yeah. Do you like Ultimate, World One One, a, a but Kirby? <laughs> Do you like how two of the stages are just wispy woods? <laughs> uh, I was exactly. going to add a Kirby's Epic Yarn stage, but then I thought Yoshi would be cooler, and also I don't mm. want to reference modern Kirby. See, that makes me depressed because I would have killed for an Epic Yarn stage. Well, that's actually real, by the way. That's upsetting. I love Epic Yarn. I know it's like piss easy, but it's just a fun time. Yeah, I get you. And Kirby doesn't get arrested, unlike Mario. <laughs> yeah, but he does get kidnapped to another dimension. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> this one was brought back in tour as well, and they kept the layout pretty much the same but updated the theme a little like I built the boulders it's like a old like abandoned dam mm -hmm. and um when you go under that uh th when you go into that cave it's like a mine section for a bit mm -hmm. so like that one I'm fine with because they kept the layout relatively the same so is there oh. a specific reason that Luigi Circuit is like a weather center or like an airport I don't know man 
<laughs> I have no idea. But it makes it very memorable. Does it? I mean, for me, it was very memorable. Hold on. That, that's fair. I don't know. Just to me, I don't think of, ah, yes, Weather Center, Luigi. Oh, just says Epic Yarn is in her backlog. So, she's never gonna get around to it. That's unfortunate. Also, I think Cassidy got a call, so she's probably gonna have to bounce and then come back in. No, 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 my mom just brought a drink. I'm waiting for my dog to come back into my room. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, Jess, I had to call you out. That's how it is. I'll get to it eventually. Oh, that's, that's true. Epic Yarn is actually one of the few Kirby games where Kirby isn't, you know, fucking pissed on the box. circuit <laughs> <laughs> we're officially done talking about it <laughs> it's done <laughs> wow that one i remember as a kid it was very memorable but like nowadays like, I was like whatever mm -hmm. this one this is a classic yeah <laughs> i i need i'm tempted to show that one donkey video where uh it's uh it's him talking about like game collections quote unquote talking about them where uh there's just like some rapper who bought a stack of shitty ps2 games on mm -hmm. on ebay and he just goes through the whole stack and he's just like these are my games absolute classics and he <laughs> he, he he pulls out shit like <laughs> like fucking workout dvds and <laughs> shit like that <laughs> He's like, that one's for me. Don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't go up on the, um, right, like the art. You can go on the arches on DS. Yeah, they got rid of that stuff. And that useless shortcut to the right is gone. <laughs> is it even a shortcut if it isn't shorter? No, all it does is give you a guarantee. Actually, I was going to say it gives you a guaranteed double item box, but I think after you get the double, it can become just a single. Yeah. There was a similar thing on Peach Beach, which, which they got rid of in Wii. I, I was gonna say, shout out to the minimap, because they like drew where the cliff like walls are. They didn't have to do that. Oh yeah, they did do that, didn't they? Yeah, shout out to this bus. I think in this one, like, the only, like, besides getting rid of those smaller things, like, I think there's less traffic. Mm -hmm. I think that's, like, a hardware thing, though. Yeah, it is. Because I do remember this track, like, in the third lap is pretty hard, because there's a lot of cars on the third lap. Oh, yeah, and these houses are sprite are just, like, 2D sprites. What do you mean? They're great. <laughs> <laughs> Banger song. Hell yeah. 
Yo, look at these fruit trucks. They don't have any logos or anything. Just the the <laughs> fruit fruit sprite from World. I mean, to be fair, it's nice that they actually acknowledge World. Yeah. Oh my god, this game just keeps pummeling me with fucking blue shells. Yeah. Here it comes. There it is. The game just doesn't want you having fun. I don't know what the problem is. I did progressively worse on every lap. That's great. Anyway, next. <laughs> I think that's the last one, yeah. Oh, is that the last for one for 50? Oh, not for 50. For, I meant for that. Oh, triple. Let's go. Because in um, DS, all the retro cups are, uh, the tracks are in order of when the games came out. It's always uh, a SNES track, a 64 track, a Super Circuit track, and then a Double Dash track. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, oh, Jess, yeah, we, we were mentioning that, that you can't, uh, you, you can only do the archways in Double Dash, you can't do that in DS. Yeah. I think in Double Dash, they're slightly faster to go on the arches. I can't remember. It's very risky to go on them. Yeah. I like how the standard cart is, like, just objectively worse because of how much you lose in item stat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, like, I think the only thing that changes really is the handle. Oh, no. They're, it's just a worse car. Yeah. Rawr. Oh, yeah, this one, they did a cool thing where... In later games, you know when they do the clown car, it's just the clown car as a cart. In this game, it's like a weird airplane with the clown car's face. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eclectic Salt says, uh, did any of us pull that off as a kid? Because uh, the, the the Double Dash bridge oh. specifically. Uh, uh, spoilers, no. No, but I, I own the game again, and I know how to do it like consistently now. Mm -hmm. If you get yourself in the center and just let go of the stick, it'll do it for you like... There's like weird, like invisible walls that keep you on it. If you don't move the stick. Get out of here. Oh yeah, this one's a banger too. Nice samba. I don't know music genres. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. If your bomb get, uh, if someone hits your bomb, you're trailing behind you. You get hit by it too. Yeah, it really sucks. Have that. I think that's a thing on Wii as well. DS and Wii are very similar mechanically. Yeah, but DS is better. <sighs> See, I wobble back and forth between which one I like more. I think DS is definitely the more balanced game. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's <laughs> not... I mean, think about the competition with that one. Yeah, Wii is infamous for its car balancing. Inside drifting bikes are just the only way people play. But the inside drifting bikes feel really fucking good is the thing. Okay, so uh, I made a very grave error in picking Bowser for this because he fucking sucks on this track. Mm, yeah, I think the heavyweights just aren't that good in this game. For some reason. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it just doesn't feel... It doesn't feel nice to play as Bowser right now, especially not in this mm -hmm. shitty fucking car. You know, like driving through the poo-poo? The poo-poo mud? What do you mean? It's not, <laughs> it's not that. It's chocolate. Also, mm. I definitely hit that. I, did, I just <laughs> oh, yeah. realized I just realized I was in second the whole time. <laughs> Toad was whooping your ass. Dude, Toad didn't even show up. <laughs> he was out. Yeah, piranhas that like stand like that usually in Mario Karts, if you're going slow enough, they don't like make you spin out. Don't pick Bowser again, he's bad. Yeah, yeah I'm not. You the boy? Yeah, I'm not picking I'm not picking Bow Bow. It's my boy dry bones. I'm I'm picking the standard dib. <laughs> that, that's what they called me in middle school, the standard dib. <laughs> kind of weird that this has two Choco tracks for retros. Really in on Choco. Oh, the bitrate is tanked on my end. Oh no. I can still see it, but like, there's very few pixels. Well, 
R.I.P. I was, it, it doesn't really matter what it is on my end. Is it okay? Like for people watching, is it okay on your guys' end? Yeah, as long as long as you know, people on Twitch are watching. Luigi, you dumb. Crap. Just because I'm just making sure because the video quality took a slight dip for me, but it's coming back. Yo, bloop. The blooper was introduced in this game. Good. So was the um bullet bill. God damn it, Luigi. Luigi's got... rubber neck in. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi looking like a source filmmaker mod. Well, the acceleration on this car is insane. You went from zero to a hundred. Yeah, I, I think it's because I think Dry Bones has the highest acceleration in the whole game. I think so, and then one of his cars has the one of the highest off roads. I mean, this one certainly has a high off-road stat, because, like, yeah. I, I just went through off-road and I didn't even notice. Yeah, I think the Dry Bomber is the one with the highest off-road. Or I know Dry Bomber is just, like, a popular car. Mm. From what I understand, like, I wasn't, I don't know much about the competitive DS, and the, from one of the small things I've heard, I've heard the Dry Bomber and the Egg one, like, the really good carts. Mm-hmm. All right, this time Toad wasn't fucking 20 years ahead of me. So. Yo, Big Burfa doing a big jump. How many, that's the big fish name. How many fucking Big Berthas are in the Mario series? Because I feel like there's more than one. Um, okay. I think Big Burfa was introduced in... Oh, do you mean, like, how many times have they done the concept, but it's a different design? Yeah. Because they've, they've had a bunch of designs. There's that one. There's the one with uh, sunglasses in 64. Um, okay, so I'm not crazy in remembering that that one was also called Big Bertha. I think it was, yeah. And then, like, they have the design in, like, other Mario... Oh, my goodness. Well, in, um, Lu like, the Luigi new was just, it, like, get rid of Bertha. this thing. <laughs> like, there was that weird, like, um, tadpole thing in D New Soup DS. Do you remember that? Oh, It was, like, yeah. a giant t tadpole of spikes. And then in Wii, they had just like a purple version of Big Bertha, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's what they've stuck with. Fun fact, in um, 64 DS, it doesn't have the sunglasses, which is a bummer. It's just a big cheap cheap. It doesn't even have the buck tooth. Oh, really? Yeah. That's weird. I will say, as a kid in OG 64, the fucking, the big fish scared the fuck out of me. I hated but it was it. so cool. It was, but it would just chase you down, you know? It's like a Resident Evil game. <laughs> <laughs> Resident yeah. Evil is a Mario Resident Evil, but it's just a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Resident Mario. Has it been like a, like a survival horror that takes place underwater and you're just like trying to not get eaten by a big fish? I feel like that has a, that's like a good potential for a game. It definitely does. I mean, that probably exists, though, right? Someone's had to have made probably. that by now. I, I can imagine a game where, like, you're exploring a, a sunken, like, laboratory, and you have to, like, keep finding, like, air tanks to, to stay alive. Ooh. I'm not against that idea. But there's also a big fucking fish, and it'll eat you. Have any of you heard of that, like, Manhunter game on, like, PS4? It's like a shark game. Oh, Man Eater? Yeah. Yeah, it's on it's on every platform. Yeah. I watched a video about it and apparently like the game reviewed mediocrely because people were like, All you do is eat people and it's like I think that's it's, the point. That's the title. <laughs> they like complain that like they focus too much on the, the whole point of the game. I mean It's like how <laughs> yeah, I mean right. yeah. <laughs> It's like, uh, have you seen that one Nintendo Wire review of uh, Great Ace Attorney? No, what happened there? Uh, th one of their cons for the game was that it delved into racism. What? So, their complaint was that, like, it's a little weird that they were talking about racism in the game. And it's like, what do you, what? It takes place in the early 1900s. <laughs> it'd, be, 
It'd be weird if it didn't have racism. Yeah, they were like, it makes us uncomfortable that Britain is painted as racist. Because you were, and are. <laughs> Just as bad as America is. Yeah. No spoilies, though. I'm not going to spoil anyone. Oh, I'm no, also not that far. Again. No, I, I mean, okay, so this isn't a spoiler, but like... Yeah. Cassidy, what you saw in the uh, like the early game, it's just a lot of that peppered throughout the whole game. Yeah, that's what I figured. I, I was just saying, I meant for like people watching, I wasn't going to say anything spoilery. Yeah. Because uh, I'm not even that far, oh, I'm on the second case. Wait, Jess says that was the IGN review? Was it? I thought, I, I thought it was, but someone in reply comment said it was Nintendo White, so I wasn't sure. Okay, real quick, shout-outs to Sky Garden for having my favorite song oh, in the Mario series. So good. Or the Mario Kart series, at least. Who's jamming out? Yo, hang on, I might have to pick Dry Bones Forever now? Cause, like, he's good! Yeah, he's like, a little too good. <laughs> Which sucks, because... Uh, I never played as Dry Bones uh, originally. I always played as Rob the Robot. I mean, Rob's cool as fuck. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Rob's the Robot. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom gave birth to a robot. I can't let her know. It's a secret. <laughs> Bezos put a robot in her somehow. Oh, <laughs> Day one delivery. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, so is this a Luigi trick? Because there's a blimp with Luigi plastered I, on it. I I think it's because that it's it's the blimp for the Luigi Circuit track and then they just reused it on this track. Yeah, I know, but is that supposed to imply this is a Luigi stage? No, I think it's advertising <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. <laughs> Luigi is on the market. He wants his, to find love. <laughs> that's his dating profile attempt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Eclectic it, it, Salt never... brings up a good point. The stage has a lot of green in it. That's true. You guys gotta remember, Super Circuit came out before day naps. The, the only way you could put yourself <laughs> out there was on that plan. <laughs> the, this is what dating in the Mushroom Kingdom was like before apps. You had to put your face and name on a blimp. <laughs> you, you have to pay fucking $20,000 to get your face flown above a cart track. Mm -hmm. Fun fact I learned recently, there's only like 11 blimps in the world. Wait, what? Yeah. Is... how? Because they're not effective and no one wants them. I mean... <laughs> you poor Luigi paid top dollar for nothing. Because <laughs> I know there's like the Goodyear blimp, there's like two of those, but I don't know what any other ones there are. You know, the big blimp they have over NASCAR, I only know about that blimp because of Cars 1, so... Because the blimp is sentient in that movie. Uh, oh, is that in, in, like, the history of blimps, or, like, currently operational? Currently, I think there's only 11 blimps in the world. Okay, wait. I don't remember. Did they take out a bunch of ridges here, or has it always been this open until 8, delu eight and 8 Deluxe? I, I think it was always this open. I, I love how I, all. I love how I hit that banana and I didn't give a shit. Yo, shots still left there. They took, they still have the opening in the wall for the shortcut, but the shortcut isn't there. Oh, is it not? Yeah, the like one where you go underground to get a double X box. I don't go this I, way. They put, I, they put off road. I, 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 shut up. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, they added off road between the wall and the track there. And that's only in the DS version. Weird. Right, Luigi, I see your fucking shitty red shell. Get mm -hmm. out of here. 
very weird that this is the very last track of the retro courses. A very weird choice. This should have been in like the Leaf Cup. Probably. Because this isn't even that like a hard track. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you know what? You could have made the argument of like putting this in this cup, uh, but I, I would not make it the fourth one. Yeah, the only reason it's fourth is because the fourth of every retro is GameCube. Yeah, and in this in this game they had them all in chronological order. Yeah, they they dropped that we on word, which sucks because I thought it was a really cute, uh, I, really I, cute touch. I do too, but I do think it's cute as well. But I think it's just for balancing, like it's just like for balancing reasons. It doesn't make sense to have them in chronological order. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were playing Mario Kart DS during Wii's development, and they're like, "Why the fuck yeah. is Yoshi Circuit the fourth one? <laughs> Why did you pick only easy GameCube tracks? <laughs> Probably because it's easier to make those. That's true. All the all four Special Cup tracks in Double Dash are pretty complicated. That's another one that they took a long time to get a working version in uh, Wii was uh, Dino Dino Jungle. They didn't have time to know how to get that big dinosaur working. But someone finally did it. I, was able a, to... I love Dino Dino Jungle. Dino Dino Jungle is fucking tight. Not in Double Dash, but it's tight everywhere else. Mm, oh yeah, in Double Dash, like that bridge area is very fucking hard. Hmm. They made it a lot easier in um, 7. Oh, well, Eclectic Salt brings up uh, Sherbert Land or whatever. That would have been tough on DS, right? So. Oh, yeah, they could have brought that one in. They didn't They didn't, they didn't use that till 8. <laughs> they did not mm. want to use that one. True. Yo, Star, let's go. This <gasps> isn't the Star guy. It's her. It her. You did it. Yo, credits? Yo, skip. The banger credits music? No, I don't think you can skip them. Or you can't, I can't remember. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yep. Oh, nope. Okay. No. Are you... Tap the... Click the screen, maybe? Or press start? Uh... I'm... I'm hitting every button that I programmed. Try clicking the touch screen. I did. I don't think you can skip them. Hideki Kono... More like, oh no, I can't skip these fucking this credits. This one's very pretty, though. These credits are pretty. You know what? In this song? This is beautiful. I love it. Look at Mario just chilling out. He's using so much gas. This is... I, want, I want to race in that city, though. Where's that Sunset City track? I want to race in that. This song's so fucking good. This is like weirdly too good of a song. <laughs> I'm telling you, the composer for DS and whoever composed Wii, they went off. Yeah, they really did pop off. Oh, there goes DK. Wait, put your hands <laughs> on the wheel, bud. You're gonna, you're gonna... <laughs> oh, he's gonna crash. <laughs> oh no, DK's gonna fucking die, dude. Well, hope we made it. Toad, why are you so small? Toad, why are you trying to fly? <laughs> it's like, a birdie! Bow wow. <laughs> Bowser's like pointing at different clouds. <laughs> He's playing I Spy with himself. <laughs> <laughs> Wario, are you okay? <laughs> He's like, his car is like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like running on uh it's running low on fuel and he's like smacking it to keep it going Yoshi's just chilling hell yeah Yoshi's cool Yoshi's allowed to live <laughs> Luigi keep your hands on the wheel <laughs> he, he's losing control of his car he can't help it Mario's the only safe driver Mario has not moved an inch this entire time. <laughs> I think Mario might be dead. <laughs> can we can we get a check on Mario? 
I love that they just copy and paste the same city sprite. Oh, Peach doesn't give a fuck. Aww, I wanna. Child, so I wanna, dude. It he was, was a, he was a cool man. What a cool ass logo. Hell yeah. Thanks so much for to playing my game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much for playing to my game. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, it's been about two hours, so I'm gonna call it here. Uh, which is, you know, fifty c. All of fifty cc is a nice break. That's pretty good. So, yeah. Are so, you saying mission mode till the very end? Yeah, mission mode. I'm just gonna do in its own, like group of Grunge. group of whatever so uh oh wait before we go though i do want to show off so everyone can see it how beautiful my my logo is <laughs> steak <Look. laughs> steak that's pretty good though i did a pretty good job i feel yeah Here, hang on let me let me edit that a little bit i'm gonna what are you doing Oh. And then... One time I made the Mountain Dew logo in this. Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? And then... I wish they'd bring this back, but you know why they can't. Why? Why can't they? Rob, you know what people would draw. <laughs> <laughs> nope. A lot of penises, a lot of a lot of swastikas. <laughs> I I don't know what you're talking about. No one would ever draw something that horrific. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I do like that they let you they you can like uh if you click on camera I think it they'll like you can go cycle through all, all the carts to see what they'll it'll look like on each cart. Are you making it cursive? What's going on? What if you made the S like the Stuzzy S that everyone drew in middle school? Oh, the Stussy. Yeah, whatever. You know what I meant. Steak. Question, is there a difference between steak and beef steak, or is that the same thing? I want to say they're the same thing. Because whenever I hear like beef steak, I think it's a steak made out of ground beef, and that's weird. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is what it is, though, right? But that's not what an, a regular steak is. Steak? I'm not sure. Steak. Uh, and then last edit here. Gonna... Just draw a tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. What are you doing to the tea? There we go. Steak. Deek. <laughs> it's like the Deek logo from the Mario cartoons, but it's Steak. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if someone can pay Aaron Fitzgerald to say that in her voice, I will. Steak. I will. <laughs> steak. <laughs> I don't know where. Are you drawing an arm? Yeah. Speaking of arms, remember when they had in, in 8 Deluxe and Clinton had that thing where she would like hold her arm and like pump it up like the like the one oh, like, the... You know, like we can yeah. do a thing, you know, but then it turned out that was offensive in certain countries. Yeah. So they got rid of her like holding the arm and it's just like a fist pump now. Yeah. I don't know why they had to change it for everyone. They could have just changed it in the country that it was a problem. Where is she putting her hand? Where is it going? It's just a nub. She's weaving. 
Is she a Minecraft? Is she a Minecraft? Like a a noun? Is she... <laughs> yeah. Steak. Yeah, what's the problem? Steak. <laughs> hey God, I have to do the second one now. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like where this arm goes. Where is she putting it up? <laughs> Where's she going? Oh, she's like holding her hands up to yell. There we go. Okay. And then, yep. And then, oh, and then. Art stream. What was that? Welcome to your art stream. Yeah, this is my art. Rob's an artist now. He has commissions open. I do not. Mm, that's not for you to decide. I I feel like it very much is for me to decide. Actually, it kind of looks like she's pointing at herself with her thumb now. She's like, "Look at me. I did it." Steak. Steak. There we go. Sponsored by. If, okay, Steak. so if so, <laughs> if someone could get Aaron Fitzgerald to <laughs> to do Steak, like mm -hmm. if you can, if you could pay her to do that, I will make this my Twitter icon for the rest of the year. <laughs> mm, I don't know if that's accurate. I, I feel, feel like Rob's a liar. Uh no, I feel like I'm. It's pretty accurate. Save state. Save yep. the slot one. Sure did. Anyway, that's it. I'm turning up the stream. <laughs> okay, goodbye stream.